page one. So I do have this already made. Like I told you before, we will make another one of these. So not to worry. And I have a magnet in here. And um, the magnet does show just a little bit. So the, the flowers that I made, will be I'll be putting those on there. Uh, somehow. But there'll be flowers right in, right in here. Um, I'm still letting them dry. I, I keep touching them. <laughs> Bad girl. Bad girl. Um, so I'm going to get this page out. Um, um, this is from the Magnolia Lane Butterflies and Lace. And this is the back. So we're going to use both sides. But I am going to cut this off the top. And then I am going to actually fussy cut around this because I think it would be really cool to have it a little more layered. Um, just make it kind of stand out more. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to cut my strip off because they have beautiful prints on the strip. So we're going to keep all of those to utilize. And um, then I will, well, let's go ahead and do that. And get both those things cut out oh my goodness they just closed our state well, I live in Kentucky and so nobody nobody can leave nobody can come in nobody can go out and remember just to have a, a pile um, a, a place to put your your strips and such uh, I've got my solid gray papers in here but usually I just reserve this. I'm going to take these out. Um, now don't get rid of these because we will make pockets, tags, um, all kinds of little things with this. So don't get rid of it. Put this over here. Okay um, so yeah this is just for your strips and once you get more in there they will they will stay nice, nicer, nicer. They'll stay nicer. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut off just below. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So I've cut this off just below where I can go ahead and, and cut this out. Uh, I will. I won't make you watch me do that. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to put this piece, and I still haven't figured out what, because this is white core, um, what I think I'm going to use some gray, uh, and most of the gray I have there is in little, um, got the hickory smoke, I think pull that out and see and I'm going to get myself let's here get myself something to uh, I haven't tried those round ones yet I I don't remember what I got them in but well this is this has kind of got gray on it so I think I'm just going to use that one I try and get as much use out of these as possible. This is pretty brand new. Um, so we'll see how that hickory smoke looks on this. But let's just measure this out. And now you could, if you wanted to, uh, on, on these, you know, you could put out some decorative punches if you don't have... Uh, you know, if you, if you don't have um, something like this that you could, if you don't have the die cutting, you could do a decorative punch across here. If you don't have that, you could put a ribbon or, um, you know, some kind of trim that you might have in your stash that looks good with that. Let me go ahead and cut this. There's that piece, nice, and then 
down here. Cut that. And again, keep your little strip. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh yeah, that'll be really pretty. Look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Now I need my little eraser to get rid of some. Now I've got to move all of these, all of these colors, because I was working on some flowers, and I'm not working on them right now. But I don't want to put the colors away. Okay, now let's see what we think of this. And I'm not really doing it to age the paper. I'm just... Yeah, that's going to work nicely. And if it does get on the sides a little bit, it's not that big a deal. But, um... Yeah, that, that's going to work nicely. So I like the hickory smoke on the sides of these. So you just find whatever paper you're using. Um, just find what you're going to like. Just to get that white edge. Now some, people, oop, some people love that white edge. And that's fine. If you like it, then just leave it. But uh, I, I don't. I don't care for it that much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I have got to refill this, and I've got to get myself some more now that they don't ship it in the wintertime. So I always buy myself a good bit of it before the onset of cold weather, because they won't ship it. And uh, I have one small bottle left. I, I have gone through the blue. I'm sorry if I've got some shadowing. It's um, late at night. That's when I seem to do most of my work. I do I do starts in the mornings, but you know you always are getting uh, interrupted. Too much life happening in the mornings. <laughs> All right, there we go. little bit to goober glue goob glue okay so there's that and then on where's my paper and then on this side I want to have this nice pink and then that'll be like that and we'll have our our lady on there and we're going to center our lady on our page not um not on the on the fold on the flap here so all right so let's get this measured out and I'm going to try and save the rest of my flowers here uh, for a pocket or something because that it's just really really pretty okay and here is the end of my flap so we'll cut that there, and we'll cut this here. All right. So there I saved that nice pretty, pretty. And cut this. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I almost cut that. You know what? It didn't cut straight. I don't know why, but I am going to go ahead and I am going to take this strip and I am going to... I am going to take this strip and put it here and then recut that paper. Yeah, and I think that'll give it a little more interest as well. 
All right, so we've got that. Actually, I do want this to be the same height as my paper. There we go. And I can't cut straight to save my life, so. Um, and also, another thing that I did was I took out, because I have in that Magnolia Lane, I have two copies of each piece. So, um, I have two copies of each piece, and so I want to uh, try and use up the first section first. And then if I... That's got a little bit of that glue on there. Come on. Some of them didn't want to come off the page very well at all. That glue. The glue they used was very good glue. Very good glue. Alright, so we're going to glue this in first. Come on, there we go. Just at the edge of our flap here and pull it up just a smidge. There we go. Let's burnish that down. Now, let's recut this. See, top and bottom, it's just fine, but it, I don't know, I didn't do a very good job. I'm going to slide it down a little bit, and I'm going to leave a little bit of a mark of an, a gray coming through. And I'm going to cut make sure this has writing on it so we do need to make sure that we've got it let me get a little more I think I've got the uh, ink refill on this one these little ones they dry up a little quicker than the uh, Now on this light pink, I'm actually kind of wanting to get a little bit of a haze at the top. Um, I mean, uh, um, over the edge, just to give it a little bit more interest. Maybe a, a little darker on the corner. All right. Now let's see how we're doing. Are we cooking with gas? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are cooking with gas. There we go. All right, and I like that. That's, that's very nice. And then this will go right in the center. Mmm, I like it. I like it. Okay, let's get this down. Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm so glad I remembered. I need... I need a magnet and let's grab a couple of these off of here and I'll get one of them okay now let's there we go so I need to figure out 
let me put this here just so I can have it the way it's going to be. And I want to center this on this page. Top and bottom and up and down. And I think that looks pretty good right there. All right, so I'm going to take this out. Flip this, take the uh, stickiness off, don't let it move, make sure that this is straight up and down, before you, and that it's straight on side to side before you drop this down. Yay! And now I'm going to... Okay, so I've got the magnet and we're just going to put a little piece of tape on it. There we go. Alright, so now I can go ahead and glue down. Ah! Nope. Let's get a little bit, bit better burnish. Or burnish it at all. I didn't I just put it down. Alright, listen. See, it works when you do what you're supposed to. <laughs> ah! All right, guys. Oh, oops. So I've inked this up around the edges already. And I did, um, I did go through my stash of stuff. And I'll show you real quick uh, in, in a second what I pulled out and these are things that you know you more than likely you're not going to be able to reproduce but I'm sure we all have a stash of bits of ephemera from different packs and things that we've got and I'm sure with your paper pack whatever it may be that you'll be able to find a few things that will mix in or your paper pack might have lots of goodies to go along with it like if you're working with graphic 45 or one of those I think I'm gonna have to clean this tip I'm having to squeeze pretty hard all right oops sorry about that now we'll get this oh for heaven's sakes line it up with the other paper and make sure it's going to be nice and straight and isn't it beautiful ain't it beautiful okay there we go nice and burnished down make sure it's getting on the on the stuff they put on the um the score tape around the magnet but don't score right up to the magnet I, I i prefer to let the paper kind of float over the magnet all right now put this down and let it find the magnet there it is um and then i'm going to pick it up whoops shoot i'm going to straighten it and I'm probably not as centered this way as I'd like to have been, but that is okay. I will live with it. All right, now I'm just kind of squeezing it onto this paper and trying not to let it move. And I'm going to take a little pencil mark and I'm just going to run a line lightly across the spot so I know my glue needs to go that way on the far side of the line so everything gets glued down and I'm not really putting it on the meaning to put it on the paper uh, underneath this because it won't touch it won't touch nothing nothing I tell ya all right, and there's that. 
and then some glue on this. All right. So now we're going to close this up. We're going to have it sit, make sure this is standing so it's level. And I'm basically going to let it find the magnet. Let's hold this up. Let it find the magnet. Make sure I'm pivoting it back and forth to make sure I've got it straight. And now I'm just going to lay that down. And I'm going to open this back up and burnish. And just be careful that you don't hook, hook it on any of your, your goodies. There we go. And I've got quite a bit of it popping out here and there all right let me see what i can do here get my little fingernail in there but uh yeah i like this and like i said we will make one together not gonna leave you hanging on that and um and, it, you know, and I said, if you've just got a card, you can just use a card. You can just use a, a pretty trim, a ribbon, a lace, whatever you want. If you don't have, you know, any die cuts that work. Okay, um, let me just show you. Isn't that cute? I love it. Great first page. I don't know if it's actually going to be the first page, but the first page we're working on anyway. Um, let me get you a little closer. Oop always the wrong way and just show you a few things that I pulled out so just uh, little little round doodads um, these are two little dangly things uh, a um, a face a head a silhouette that's what it is just some little tags this is a um, vinyl plastic uh, acetate there we go clock uh, these are just a few tags that kind of, kind of got that French vanilla color going on. Um, I've got a few pieces from, I think these are from the Tim Holtz, uh, vellum that you can buy. Uh, so I grabbed a few of those. Some of this is, I know I keep saying dreams, etc. Um, I have got a couple of her digital packs and some of these are out of uh, some of those digital packs so you would just have to look I know this last little bit of stuff here and then this was just a frame that I had that you know I can I can kind of antique it a little bit to go with the paper line um, now these things are from her most recent digital pack and it's called fashion bazaar and I got um, both, there's two bundles, and I got both bundles, but that's, uh, this is kind of the flower that's throughout this paper, and then just, you know, some words, some advertisement. So, I just pulled those things out to see if it, there was anything that I would want to use so that, now you, now you have seen what I have. Okay, um, I also pulled out, I've got this stuff, so I pulled that out, um, and I'll try and use this in something. I think I got that from Hobby Lobby. I might have shown you that already. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep you informed on, uh, you know, everything I'm trying to use and things. I also did get two other... Um, this is Spellbinders, a shapeability. It's the Pocket Elegant. So it's just a big, nice big pocket with, with some, um, where you can cut out the, a decoration on the, on the top. And then this is one of those, um, die delights. So it's just a, a single, um, it's just one of their smaller, simpler ones. There's just usually one in here and it's called the Edwardian Door. So that's that one. And then this is the Elegant Pocket. Is that what it is? Pocket Elegant. Bleh. <laughs> 
so I might um I might use those. I just got those in the mail. That was my my little shopping spree that I did online. <laughs> okay, and I did get all of those from Dreams Etc. She sells stamps. She does a whole stamp line with Carabella. I think that's the name of the company, but this woman is very talented. Um I actually contacted her because I had a lady that wanted to order a mermaid journal from me and I told her that I just couldn't find any papers that she really liked but give me a little while and let me see what I can find out so I contacted her at dreams etc and her name eludes me right at the moment um, and uh, asked her if she would be interested in working on something like that and uh, she said yeah Give me a little bit of time and we'll see what we can come up with. I was seeing if her name was on here, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. But anyway. All right. So we have this part done. And now we're going to open up and we're going to do in here. Now, remember, I have a uh, quarter of an inch. Um, is that a quarter of an inch? I don't. I don't know. Yes, it is. So it's, a, it's the quarter of an inch. Um, so we can build this up. We can build up on this and have some fun with it. And in fact, I think this pocket, I think I will, I will, I'm going to, I'm going to cut out for just a minute and I think I'm going to try and make a few of these pockets and see how I like those. Um, and yeah, um, because we might play around with that. But if you don't have that, I will go over with you, you know, what, what else we're going to do. Uh, or what else your, your options are. So give me a minute and let me play around with that. And I will be right back. Okay, I printed out, I'm printed out. I cut out two of them. This one I went ahead and folded. It comes with a, a quarter of an inch, which is plenty fine for a pocket. But I think I'm going to make a double pocket on this page. So I'm going to show you, um, I mean, first we've got to, to uh, fold our little hinges over. We don't have to do the bottom one because I am going to leave the top one to be a large pocket and have it go all the way through. But I'm going to fold the two sides over. And then I will use this a couple of times. Now, if you don't have a shaped pocket, you can still make a double pocket, okay? N not a big deal. Um, so you're going to want to have the gray part go down past, if you, if you have a, an opening, at least I do. I want the gray part to go down past that. Um, and what we're going to do is, I want to measure on here. See, make sure you can see me. So I'm going to put this flush with the bottom. I don't know if that's exactly where I'm going to put it, but that way I know I'm kind of straight, flush with the bottom. And then I want to do my double pocket about like that. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to make a mark right where the top pocket meets up with the outside, the bottom, the, the, where the bottom pocket meets the top pocket at the distance I want. So right there, I will make a mark on both sides. And then, so I have my mark. Let me make this one a little better so I can see it myself. Okay. And I wrote all over everything else and I got on to the bottom pocket a little bit with my pencil too. I'm just a messy, messy pencil person. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we still need to have the flap. We still need to have that in order to put it down, but we don't need from these marks that we have made for where I want this one to line up with this one, uh, we don't need all of this. 
So I am going to grab my scissors. Yep. And I didn't put them where they were supposed to. Oh, no, I know. I took them out in the other room. <laughs> ah. Oh, Dingleberry, I tell ya. Okay, so at the mark that I made, I am going to cut straight across on the hinge up to the um, score line. And then I'm going to go just beyond the score line because I'm going to cut off the score line. Going from the bottom, I'm going to cut to the right side of the score line. So I get the score line all the way off. And the reason being I'm doing that is because I want this to be able to, to slide into place. Okay, and if you take the score line all of the way off, it will make this uh, pocket smaller than the folds that it needs to slide into. If that makes sense to you, I hope it does. Again, on this side, on the hinge, we're going to cut straight up on that mark just over the score line. And then we're going to come up from the bottom and we're going to completely cut off the entire score line. So you're even like a sixteenth of an inch from the score line, just so you can get it all off. Now I'm going to, I have a little mark left on there. I'm just going to erase that. And now I'm going to try it on for size and see how well it slides in. Make sure you're not getting your little bits stuck in there. So it slides very nicely. Um, so that's good, but we don't need the whole length. You can certainly leave it. Um, I don't think it's gonna really make a whole lot of difference. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um, so now I have that where it's laying inside this. I am not going to glue this down because I want to be able to use both of these. Um, I want this pocket to slide all the way down to the end and I want this pocket to be able to slide down to the end. So I am not going to glue the bottom of the top pocket closed. Uh, so you push this down now all the way so that it is resting with those hinges open. It's resting on the pocket right where we cut the hinges. And it should look straight to you. And then we're going to fold those hinges and we're going to lay this down and glue it. However, I think it will be easier to put paper on this one before we do all that. All right, so I am going to pick some papers uh, for these and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, the piece that I had cut the pink out of for Our Lady in the front, um, that piece, I just cut a piece of the, um, uh, the, the balance of it had this on it, and so I'm using that as the top, the bottom pocket. Um, and then I'm also going to make myself a little tuck spot with some of the strip off one of the papers. Um, I got myself some really pretty, I could not tell you what the thing is called. There's definitely a good side and a bad side. And so there's that. So I'm going to be using that little lace. And I've pulled out some pearls. So I've got, I've got some stamping up pearls and then some want to scrap pearls and some recollection pearls. Just different size pearls. Different size pearls. And then this piece... I took out of this one, which was the um, damask curtains. So that's that's this one, and and you can use either side. This one's got some little music notes to it, but this is, this side's a little brighter, and so I thought maybe we'll just see. 
So you can see the difference. The little brighter side coming through the gray or the softer side coming through the gray. The softer side does tend to look a little bit more like the softer side of this. So I'm actually thinking I like the softer side. Um, and then I'm going to take this page, which is Timeless Garden. Put that in there and I am going to use that as my background. I don't know, maybe, maybe down here a little bit more. Yes, so I've got that figured out. So that will get that page done. Woo hoo hoo. Okay, let me just cut my strip off the top first because we will use those puppies. See, that one's, that one's not as pretty as some of the other ones, but we could still use that puppy. All right, so let us make a cut right on that line I made. So I still have this. And I believe, sorry, this thing makes so much noise. Okay, whoops. Get it just right, and then I move it. And we'll just mark here and cut that. And we're starting to get some scraps. <laughs> All right. Put our little scraps in our little scrap pile because we will pull out of that as much as we can. This paper is just so pretty and it all just, it seems like every page just goes with every other page. There's not really, let's see, do I have any mark on there? I do. Okay, so now I'm going to gray this all up. All right, because I haven't done any of that. I do apologize. We've had a beautiful day here. It's it's a little chilly. It's uh, in the mid-50s. But when you get out in the sun, if you're doing something, it, it warms up a bit. There's that, and then these two little pieces shan't take long. Oh, my husband's out fussing at my little dog. I wonder what's going on. Oh, he got him. <laughs> There's a guy that rides his horse down our street. Um, out that's out in front of our house. It's we're we're set quite a ways back away from the road it's it's not a very busy road um it is uh it is uh what do you call it i don't know if you guys can hear my husband yelling at my little dog i don't know he must have found something to eat <laughs> Um, anyway, it's, uh, it's a paved, it's a paved road, so it's, we don't, we don't have a, a dirt road to deal with, making everything dusty and all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of dried out here. And I really don't need to do all four sides of this, because one of the sides is not going to work, but there we go. All right, so everything's inked up. And we are going to go ahead and work on this. So let me put my page over here. Alrighty. So this is our base that goes onto the page. And this is our pocket. And this is what it's going to look like in the back. You're going to have this piece that, that I cut straight across and um, 
so you'll have those two now that these hinges are the only thing and and of course across your bottom you do want to close up so that both pockets will will actually work as pockets and not big belly bands um but uh so however you're doing this if you've got a half inch um if you've made your own pockets and you've got a half inch um you, you just want to, so you push the top one all the way down so it's resting against the the bottom flaps and that is the only thing that you'll put glue on are the flaps all the way around and then you can place that down first though i am going to put my let's see and this is music and i decided i like the softer side so i'm going to go ahead and put my top pocket paper on and since nobody's going to be playing around you don't have to glue the bottom okay so now we're just gonna oh i got some glue on the wrong side there it's gonna line this up just uh even amount on the left and the right and on the top so that you're from the from the design now if you're just doing if you're doing a, a punch across um, same thing you just kind of make your side and your top away from the pattern even so it just looks nicer that way okay got some glue on everything I'm just gonna give that a quick burnish all right and then i want to take a little piece of lace make sure this is the correct side yes and i'm just going to figure out where i want to cut this so i have a nice little see i want to kind of make it even So, there we go, and then I'll just trim off the excess. I'm just going to use a little bit of my glue here, because this uh, Art Glitter Glue does fine with, with um, fabrics and things, and since this one's really not going to get... Uh, a lot of abuse in any way it will be just fine to utilize it for this if you were going to be pulling on it or things like that then I'd say let's get the um, the Fabri-Tac out could not think of a name <laughs> and then everything is falling falling all right so i've got that tacked down and then there's that and that there we go and then later on i can put um some pearls or something like that if i so choose to do that now we're going to go ahead and get our pockets lined up and i'm going to put my glue down you can use score tape if you'd like had a doctor's appointment this morning and my husband went but they weren't allowing guests or friends in if you had an appointment you could go in so he had to sit out in the car which 
I guess we kind of figured he would do anyway because he didn't really want to uh, unneedingly. Un I'm going to leave just a little, 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 little sixteenth of an inch at the bottom. Make sure I'm even on side to side. And I'm also kind of not spreading it flat, flat. I, I'm not making it pucker, but I'm not spreading it flat, flat. Because I would like for it to be fairly easy to get um, the tags in. Because there is all of this filigree type stuff. And... The, the lace actually didn't need to go onto that pocket, but it's fine. Because once you put a tag in here, it's probably not going to show, but it'll be pretty anyway. Uh, so make sure we're nice and dry. Give it a little burnish. See if we got any glue spitting out. All right, let me go ahead and do this part now. Okay. All righty. Turn it sideways so I can really see what I'm doing here. Again, I want to make this the same as above. Same distance away from the edges and same distance away from the top of the pattern. And then place that down. Alrighty, and then I'm going to take one of these little designs. I did not ink this. Ah, oh, this thing drives me nuts. <coughs> I don't ta dare take it off because I am highly allergic to a few items. <coughs> and if I, you know, if I leave the house and don't have it on, I, I could get in trouble. <laughs> So, I have to leave it on, but it just, I, I think next time I have to get it uh, redone, I'm going to get it in a necklace instead of a bracelet. I thought the bracelet would be such a nice idea. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. My allergies have been kicking up. And then I'm just going to put this across the bottom, and I want to have it is exactly the same length from side to side as the paper uh, the designer paper that I have on the pocket <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry I'm going to take a drink of water hopefully the um, magnify uh, ma microphone is not picking up my swallowing and everything <laughs> whoops oh <coughs> All right, so there is our little tuck spot. Yay! And, you know, if you give it a little bit of a roll with your fingers, just to give it a little bit of a bend, um, let, me, let me put this down so you can kind of see. It's got a little bit of a bend. And uh, then we're just going to glue on three sides. My glue is erupting out of the top. I guess I have another air bubble. All right, and then we're just gonna pop that sucker right down there. Just, it's actually ending up where it's just gonna be a little over the edge, which is actually, to me, a little more visually appealing. There we go. 
Let's make sure we've got all of that down. You can see a, just a little bit of the gray all the way around. So it's very nice. So there is our pocket. Let me get... I'm going to use some of the green. So let's cut... A nice length, a, a width here, and uh, I'll tell you in a second. Of course, if you don't have these pockets, you're just going to make it uh, about a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch smaller than the opening because you want it to slide down really nicely. So let's give it a try. See, very nice. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Now, I, I think there's enough ornate stuff. Um, but you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to leave the tags. I want to make this next one the same width as this one. So I'm just going to match them up and make a mark. And cut this down. Okay. <clears throat> and then this one. Okay, so this. This is the same length, but it's not fitting in quite as nicely. So I am going to just take a sliver off of this one. <coughs> so that's what I took off. Just a sliver. Eh, figure you out. Just, just a sliver, about 16th of an inch. And let's see how much nicer it is. And I'm gonna round the corners. So that always helps when you're going into something, rounding the corners always helps. So then this one, I'm going to want to cut down to come below the top of my lace, but above. So you'll see a little bit of the lace. So let's see here. Yeah, and you get to see a little bit of the lace. I'm also going to put lace down on this on this one here so that they'll be even. And I'm going to take off about a half an inch off of this one. <clears throat> so let's see how we're doing here. Oh, yeah. And uh, we will come back to the pockets. Let me go ahead and get just a little teeny piece of lace on this one. Again, I need to make sure I am getting it on the right spot, the right side. And is that about even? Yep. So I'm going to cut this one right here. Okay, and let's get this a little more straight up and down. All right. Flip this over. Ah, well, my glue, I have a bubble. I have a bubble. They're very aggravating when you get them. And the only way that I know how to get rid of it is open it up and pop the bubble. So I will do that in just a moment. Okay. Ah, 
come on. So we're going to start right on the edge and I'm getting it right up to the start of the paper, the designer paper. And there we go. Yay! Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Love it! Okay, so now we'll put this in our book. <coughs> and I did ink all that, yes. Let me... Okay, let's see. Let me squeeze... Turn it upside down. Sometimes if you can get it squeezed, turn it upside down and let it suck air, it will pop the balloon, the bubble that's in there. That's why it's erupting. You get a little bubble in the beginning of the nozzle, I think, and uh, or it's at the mouth of it. And uh, then, the, you know, that little bubble just keeps Pressing, press, pressurizing and pushing what glue is in your nozzle out. You actually hold a lot of glue in that little nozzle. Okay. Here we go. Oops. And side to side, top and bottom. There's that. <clears throat> Put these away. A little housekeeping. A little housekeeping, people. Let's keep our spaces going nicely. Let me make sure. Why is you just yeah it works works just fine I was making sure I didn't have it too close to that score line <clears throat> all righty I don't know. Did I not get any on this corner? It just keeps popping up. No, now it's down. Okay. All right. So I've got this and that. Oh, I love that. Now I think I want just a really nice big page. And I this is my first chance to really kind of show the paper off. Some of the really pretty paper. So let's see. We've got some flower here, so I think I'd like some flower at the top. <coughs> um, or something a little more along the lines at the top. Now I wonder if this would work nicely up here. Remember, this is the one I'm going to cut. So I could do something with that and then use this side of the pink paper and that's really pretty. It's got little bits of flowers there and then this beautiful writing. I think I like that and and it's the same. It, this is the same piece as here so it it's um, giving you more of that uh, and um, yeah. And it's, it's the same as this back on, on this piece here, too. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out all the way. And then, um, let's see, if I put this here, I will go up just a little bit up underneath that. And let me go ahead and see where I'm going to cut these puppies. 
So, cut it right. Would I rather get some of this in there? Mm, why not? Because, you know, I'm going to cut it so tiny, so left, so such a little bit of a leftover. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I think I've started telling you something and then I forgot all about it. <laughs> so that's, um, that's good. I was going, oh my gosh, I didn't cut it the same length as this, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to do this. So yeah, that's going to look really cute. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, here, I think I'm going to hold off because I think I'll probably do some patchwork uh, on here. And I, I'll need a few more pieces. I don't know. I'm, I might... You know, I might not, but I think, uh, I think I'll do like a, um, a couple of, uh, yeah, those things. Photo mats. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so that takes care of the front. Other than this inside piece here. And uh, I am going to put something on this 3 8 here. So I think it would just probably be a quarter. And that's too short. That's too short. Um, but I think, uh, I think I might get it out of this other paper pack. I'm just not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. Um... Yeah, I don't know that this paper pack is going to be as helpful as I thought it might. So we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. Okay, um, and then we've got the back side. Now remember, you guys can add pockets. You can add more flaps, whatever you want to this. This is just the base to start off with. Um, now here... Because this is the, the front, and it's going to flip over like this. And I don't like building up the, the side that is actually attached into the book too much. Reason being, when you go to lay it over, it is... You've got this huge lump to get over if you really build up this this side here by your hinges. So um, you want to try and 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 watch that as much as you can. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe. I've got these double pockets here. It does make it pretty thick. But I do have this. Um, I do have this, uh, you know, gusset I put in here. So I can do a little bit more with this page. Um, instead of just having a, just a big flat page. So I'm going to have to think on that. So I'll be back in a sec. Hey, y'all. Um, okay, so we've got this done so far. This is where we stopped. <clears throat> and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do here. Since I have the extra space um, inside my little fold here because I gave myself the extra gusset, I am going to go ahead, and I've gone ahead and made it, just giving myself a half-inch um half inch hinge on there and I'll just line that right up keep it away from the fold lines so I'm just going to go ahead and attach this wakey wakey little glue <clears throat> and I think I am going to go ahead and snip the ends off a little bit 
you don't have to take off much. It's just so that when you put the paper over top of it, the ends where the paper that's covering this is not fighting for space uh, in the corners. It just kind of cuts the bulk down and, and hides the inner workings a little better. Okay, that, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does. Does to me. <laughs> but then in my head, I know what I'm thinking. And, and, but I don't know necessarily if what I'm thinking is coming across with the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now we're going to stay away from the fold line. Put it right on the edge because remember these are all the same exact height. They're all eight and a half by eleven. That's one reason I like this size is we don't have to cut. We don't have to cut things um, in the one direction. So that's really nice. There we go. Okay, and I think that will fill up my space nicely. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to do anything really bulky on, on these pages, but just that there's another page to get more pictures on. Um, let's see. Let me uh, be right back. Okay, what I wanted to show you was with this size... Here's two four by sixes. So you're going to be able to get two four six right on this. Plus, you'll be able to get on both sides of these. Um, this is the shortest one of the both. You would have to cut it down a little bit. It'll definitely get the four on, and you'd have to cut down that much. And usually you can cut them down. And the other one you'd get the whole one on. And you can do two. One on the front and one on the back. Or writing on them. But I always am geared towards getting those 4 by 6s where you don't have to cut them. Because to me, that's, that's just one step I don't want to take, you know? Anyway, um, so I do have, and I think we went over this one. Uh, I am going to do this piece lined up at the bottom. And then I'm going to put this on the top. I went ahead and fussy cut that out. And uh, I'm not going to glue the top down. I'm just going to glue in three spots like a pocket. So then it will be like a tension pocket. Um, where you could stick your 4x6 up underneath there and then still get another one here. Or you can always put it on the top. It's, it's not that big a deal. Either way. Either way. And I have already inked these. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, that's just too much. That's just too much. I like this one. It's much simpler, much softer. I'm going to go with this one. I got another one of these. I will use it. Alrighty. My little dog, my little old dog is, little Milo is starting to have some seizures and he's 18. He'll be 19 in July. He's a little terrier mix. He was a rescue dog and we've had him since he was, before he was one, the vet kind of had to guess at what his age was but uh 
you know now I'm gonna have to cut this down a little bit dang it I thought I had this all figured out and it's got glue on it so I'm really messing up ah I'm gonna have to clean all that <laughs> I'm going to have to take some cleaner to my cutter now. All right. Re-glue. But you know what? It's just not that big of a deal. Just not. Just not. Just, you know, make sure it gets done right. Let's try this again. Line it up at the bottom so that it's even with the other existing paper and there we go now let me burnish this so I can try and get that glue spread out oh, stuff that's was on put on there first is liable to leave the sketchy marks so you really want to get after it there we go yeah that feels good if you run your fingers over your paper and you can hear crackling noises that's where the glue is not made uh, adhesion with the paper and you're hearing it because it's sticking and then it's popping up back off of the glue so if you hear that crackly noise that's that's what that is so you want to make sure that 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 area you really want to burnish really well and get it down um, so again I've already inked this and I'm just going to give myself a little bit I'm going to flip this around so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to line it up with the top at the top with the other piece of paper and now yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this down as well re-ink and re-glue I should have checked that before I put the glue on. Since I cut the one, it would only stand to reason, right? Okay, so here we go. Much better. Because you don't want to get it in the way of your paper folding. So let me double check that we're doing all right here. I think so. Nope, this still needs to get cut down. Okay, get off of me. All right, I think my glue is still dry enough. Okay. And I, I got that where it's it's popped up so it gives it a little bit more of a dimension and I like that I like that very nice now I can uh, which I thought was really cool it's this way this it's this way no wait a minute oh for heaven's sakes yeah this matches up almost perfectly with isn't that cool so I'm gonna put I should have done that before I glued it down because it would have been easier but that's okay that is okay we're gonna cut this right here And 
gonna cut this right here. Okay, now that is all I have of this, so I need to make sure that I don't use all of it in the first couple pages and then don't have any more. But I like how that just fits on there just perfectly. Oh, I flipped it over. There we go. I'm like, why is that all of a sudden? No, no, it's not. It goes this way. And I guess, did I cut that too short? I can stretch a little bit. No, 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 it's good. I don't know what I was looking at. Okay. And this time I think, though, I am going to get the Fabri-Tac because the other glue down, I, I don't know, it, um... It's such a delicate little thing that uh, the glitter glue, either I put too much or it just kind of, I'm going to see if I like the results of this better. Let's just put it that way. Just kind of following the, um, from the top of one of the little, uh, tops, what do you call it? There we go. Start it under there, put it there, put it there, put it there, and stretch it out a little bit. It was stucking, it was stucking on my fingers. And then I just need to take a little teeny bit off of this. There we go. There we go. Isn't it lovely? And then later on, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put some pearls or something on that. But there we go. Okay, so there's that page. Okay, little housekeeping. Put this glue away. And when I, um, when I finish with this page, I'm going to then... That goes down, that goes down, that goes down. I'm going to put the flowers on this. But I'm not going to put it on until I'm done really working on, on it. So I don't want to, you know, put extra stress and strain on them. Alrighty. Now, let's see. I have now this piece I'm going to put here, I think. And I... This is the frame that was around this woman. And so I saved that, cut it out, and I will glue this onto uh, probably a piece of my green. I don't know. Do I have a piece of green large enough? No. So I can need another piece of green. So I think I'm going to make the frame out of the green. So you'll see a little bit of the green on there. And then the center will be cut out. And I think I'm going to get a little piece of acetate so that it'll be a nice, um, a nice pocket for you to slide a picture into. But we're not there yet. So I'm going to set that, oops, I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to work on this one. <sighs> I absolutely love this. 
just love that. Hmm. But this is brown and this is black. And I'm not really sure why they did one page. They have one page with black and then they have the black lace on one page. And everything else is pretty much grays. Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot of black. These, some of these, I guess all of this is black. And then on the other one, it's browns. This is brown all here. So I guess, you know, when we go to use these, these will go to all go together. So we'll just put that back underneath there. We'll just hide that puppy. See, and I think, yeah, I guess all of these are black on here. You know, just getting to know the paper, ladies and gentlemen. Don't want to forget my gentlemen. So, let's see. I just wish I had something else that had some brown in it to bring that brown out. I could make a nice pocket with one of these postcards, but it's still not this just dark brown. I don't know. I just love this. I just love this. Whew. Okay. All right. So let me figure out the papers that I'm going to use. And so you don't have to be bored watching me. <laughs> 